be here with VIP Kid. During this time of quarantine in April or May, I guess it is now, May 2020, we are having to depend on more and more of our own self-care as far as haircuts, nails, skin care, um, all that kind of stuff that we typically can go get a facial or we can go get our nails done or haircut and colored, etc. So first off, this week I did my own haircut. It's not the best haircut in the world, but it works for now until my daughter, who's a cosmetology graduate, um, has time to give me a haircut and maybe even a color. But I'm just going to start with getting a haircut. So once she's feeling better, she's doing better, but not completely better, but she's doing much better. Um, once she feels up to giving me a haircut and gets all caught up on her college schoolwork, then she can fix all my mistakes. So that happened this week, a haircut. The other thing, I spent quite a bit of time yesterday watching one of the VIP Kid YouTubers, Paula Gross, go check out her channel. She's a great um, teacher and she's got a lot of skincare and makeup um, videos besides just VIP Kid videos. Um, she's also a teacher in Texas, but she lives very north of me in Texas, so several hours away, not anywhere where I can actually get together with her, but she is a brick and mortar teacher and she's also a um, VIP kid teacher. So she's been doing skincare and makeup videos. So she's inspired me to do this video today and it is skincare and then makeup. So first I wanted to show you what I do for my skincare. So my skin is very sensitive. I break out with hives from various products. So I have to be very careful which products I use. Um, I went to the dermatologist and was complaining that my skin was always itchy. It was just like no matter how much lotion I put on, which I was using, I actually can use all the Bath & Body products and not get hives from that. Um, I was also using... My daughter went to a cosmetology school at Aveda. I was using the Aveda products, spending a good amount of money on my skincare products. And I was just always itchy, 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 itchy all the time. Um, like my favorite thing would be my husband would scratch my back and I just would be in heaven. <laughs> just sounds crazy. But I was like, scratch my back, scratch my back. And I just felt better when he did that. Um, so... The dermatologist was the one who had me switch over to these products and now my skin is not itchy anymore. It's awesome. So if you have sensitive skin like I do, then you may want to consider using these products. So you can buy them at Walgreens and I buy them at Amazon. So Walgreens and Amazon, they're not super expensive but they work, they keep my skin hydrated and clean and um, not itchy anymore, which is great. So the first thing I wanna show you is my makeup remover wipes. It's by CeraVe. This is my makeup remover wipes that I use. Um, in the shower, so I use this to get rid of any makeup, which you all know I don't wear a ton of makeup anymore. But when I do wear makeup, I'll use that. Or when I just want to freshen up my face before teaching in the morning, I'll use one of those wipes. In the shower, I use the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser Bar. You can actually use this on your face if you want to. Or you can use, um, they have different products that are actually like a facial cleanser, the CeraVe. But this is the one that I use, the Hydrating Cleansing Bar. So it's for normal to dry skin, developed with dermatologist, and it locks in your moisture. So it is supposed to not have actual soap in it. The soap is an, something that dries your skin out. 
and also really hot showers dry your skin out. I like medium hot showers, so I still do a very warm medium to hot shower, but I just don't do the really blazing hot, scorching hot shower. I, I don't like that at all. Um, so the other product I use, which I didn't bring a picture or bring the object to show you is Cetaphil face cleanser. So the dermatologist told me I could do the CeraVe or I could do the Cetaphil. And then lastly, I apply my moisturizer. And the CeraVe moisturizing cream, he said to get it in the jar. Don't get the cream that is like in a pump that comes out more liquidy, but get it where it's very thick and it comes in the jar. This jar is almost empty, but you can see it's quite a bit thicker than your normal um, lotion, a little bit thicker at least. So he said the stuff that comes in the jar is thicker and better for you than anything that comes out as, of a squeeze bottle or in a pump. And this really, really hydrates my skin. Now, living in Houston, uh, my skin stays fairly hydrated because it's so humid here. But for whatever reason, I was just constantly dry and itchy. And this combination of the makeup cleanser wipe and the CeraVe bar soap and this have helped tremendously with me not being so itchy anymore. All right, so the next part of the video is I'm going to apply some makeup, which you can all see, this is me with no makeup. I do have a little bit of the cream on my face. I did that this morning before class, um, but often this is how I teach. My students get to see the raw, naked, no makeup me, and they don't seem to care. As long as you're a good teacher and you're having fun, I don't think they mind. Um, but now for the next part, I'm gonna apply some makeup and I'm gonna then show you after I apply it. So I'm gonna take a pause, go put my makeup on and I'm gonna show you the products that I used for my makeup. My cosmetology daughter told me that she really wanted me to upgrade my makeup, that having the same makeup for like a couple of years or a year or whatever it had been, that I need to throw it all away and buy new fresh makeup. So she picked out all the different makeup and I will show you what I do for that routine next. So I'll be right back, bye. Hi, teacher Mindy back again. So this part is about my makeup routine. <coughs> but before I go through my makeup routine, this is the product, the Cetaphil cleansing, gentle skin cleanser that I use in the shower to wash my face. So that's what that one looks like. Okay, so makeup routine. I do my makeup fairly quick, not into a whole lot of makeup, and I don't wear it very often, but when we're going out or I'm filming my videos, sometimes I'll put it on, um, etc. So this is the makeup routine that my daughter, again, who is a cosmetology graduate, has set up for me because she knows I like very simple and basic. So this is me now with makeup on. Let me know in the comments below which one do you like better, makeup or no makeup, which you saw in the first part of the video. So the first thing I do is I take this Bye Bye Under Eye, and it's by IT, IT, Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. So all I do is take some of this, I just squirt it right on my brush, and then I use it to cover up the bags under my eyes. I also have a pretty decent sunspot right over here that I'll use to conceal. I always put a little by my nose just to hide any redness I have like on the sides of my nose. Okay, so that's the first step is my concealer. The next step is 
putting on my foundation. Now the trick that she showed me with the foundation is I put on a little bit of this Prevention SPF 30 skincare um, moisturizing and um, sunscreen on my, I just put a little glob of that on my hand first. Then I go ahead and put on my foundation. So my foundation is by it also, your skin but better CC plus color correcting full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum SPF 50 plus UVA and UVB. She's got me a lot of anti-aging products. What is that telling me? I'm getting old. <laughs> Anyhow, so then what I do with my um, sunscreen moisturizer is I just take and put like a little squirt of that on my hands, just a little. So as you can see, it's mostly the lotion and the um, sunscreen. And then what I do is I take this foundation brush. See, she labeled all the brushes for me of what I use with what, so I could remember when she was teaching me how to do it. So then I just take the cream and that little tiny bit of foundation and I mix it all together on my brush, right there on my brush. See how it's just getting mixed like that? Then I swirl it. She tells me to put it on and swirl it around really well on my face and on my neck so that it all matches. So I'm just, I keep adding more off my hand and then I do a swirling kind of thing to cover my face. We found when I did just this, and even though the color is light, that it was still too dark for me and too heavy coverage. Like I don't like heavy coverage of foundation. I have been blessed to have good skin. Um, being from the Scandinavian heritage, my grandparents immigrated here to the U.S. from Finland. And having the Finnish Scandinavian um, complexion and the skin, it's very light complexion. Normally in the winter, I've already been sitting out to get some sun and some color on my face because I'm so white normally. Um, but anyhow... So I just don't need a lot of coverage. I know everyone's skin is different and it's just one genetic thing that I was very blessed with. Um, the fine straight hair that I have is genetic from the fins also. Um, you know, that's to me not a blessing. I would rather have my daughter's beautiful curls than my fine straight flat hair. So it's just, Different heritages come with different um, body types and different skin types and different hair types, etc. So my blessing was my skin, but it came with some curses like the fine straight hair, which I wish I had more volume and curls. Okay, so the next step is... I put on powder, which I need to order some more of this powder. This powder is just about out. It is from Bare Minerals. So all I do is tip it upside down, tap it, get it into the lid. <clears throat> and like I said, you don't see it because it's running out. Put my powder brush in and then I put the powder all over. And that just helps to give me not such a shiny face but to give my face um, a little bit more of a matte finish. <coughs> Excuse me. I know some people really like to have a shinier face and they actually spritz their face when they get done. Me personally, I like to have it more of a matte finish. Okay, so the next step is instead of blush, she taught me to put on a bronzer. And this is Butter Bronzer. And it is Physician's Formula. Um, not sure if we already had this or she ordered it for me. But I just put a little bit on. A little bit goes a long way. 
and I kind of put it under my cheekbone. Hopefully that's where you're supposed to put it. <laughs> I think that's what she told me. It's hard to remember everything she told me. Um, and then the next one is Benefit. I use their eyebrow pencil. Now that I'm getting older, my eyebrows are getting much thinner. And ha again, having the Scandinavian um, nationality, my eyebrows definitely are not very um, dark. They're very light in color anyway. So I just put some of this eyebrow pencil on. You can scroll it up and down depending on how much you need. Put it on and then you take this end and you can brush it. And this is a product that is by Benefit. So kind of a fun fact about Benefit is we have found kiosks, little like vending machines of it in the different airports when we've traveled. So for running low on something, we can pick these up even at the airport when we've been traveling. It's kind of a fun thing. Um, then what I do is I apply my eyeshadow. So this is Urban Decay. It's her favorite, one of her favorite places to get eyeshadow palettes. Um, and she just got me a really simple one because she knows that I'm not very adventurous with my eyeshadow. Although after watching my friend Paula Gross's video, I might try playing around with some different eyeshadow colors. But this is the palette that I use. And I almost always use the same colors. So I use this on the lower part of my lid, this one. And then I use this darker one in the crease. And then I will use a little bit of this super light one up on top, just to give it a little highlight. And then I like to use this little glimmer on the very edge of my eyelid. I think the little glitter glimmer thing is kind of fun. So I will put that on as well. And then she picked out these different eyeshadow brushes for me. So obviously this goes like more in the crease. This goes on my eyelid. I kind of use this to blend it all together when I get done. So there you have it. Then the next I use my eyelash curler, but my eyelashes are so light and so small when they don't have mascara on them. If anybody has some great ideas on what to use to thicken and lengthen your eyelashes so you can actually see them when I don't have makeup on. When I don't have makeup on, it doesn't even look like I have eyelashes at all. But if you have anything that you can put on to help make them a little thicker and longer, just give it a shout out in the comments below, please. Um, so this is mascara by Tarte. It's called Lights, Camera, Flashes, and it's by Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm guessing it has a one on the back. I'm guessing it's just your basic black. I'm not really sure. It looks pretty basic black to me. Um, use that for my eyelashes. And that's about it. That's my quick um, makeup. Oh, my lipstick. Sorry. One more. My lipstick. So with VIP Kid, we wear pretty dark lipstick. And that is the one thing I will try to get on in the morning when I'm teaching. Um, it doesn't always happen, but I try. I have this little cup that I put my water in my diffuser with, and it has some lipsticks in it. So the one that I love to use when I'm teaching is I use this tinted sun bum, and it's called Raisin Hell just because it gives me a nice little dark lips for teaching. Sometimes I'll put on this, it kind of has an orangey color because I almost always have an orange shirt on for VIP Kid. That's our colors, you don't have to, I just do. Um, and this um, lip gloss is by Tarte H2O Gloss. So I will put that on. 
I just recently got, if you just need something to hydrate, this in my Good Fortune box. So Good Fortune box, for those who don't know, it's a box of things for online teachers and it's made by online teachers. So sometimes you get like fun t-shirts in it, um, various things, but this came this past month. And if you see, there's a little flower in it. So it's a hydrating lip gloss or lip moisturizer. Um, it has an E on it. I forgot who actually made it. You can see that E. And it's supposed to change as your mood change. It's supposed to be a mood changing thing. So I use that a lot when I'm starting class and they recommend that you put it on and then you can put your lipstick or something over the top. So right now I put on some lipstick and it's, here, I'll let you read the brand. It's probably, I don't know where I got it, in a box of something sometime, but it's very dark lipstick. Here's how dark it is. It's a little over the top dark for me. So what I like to do is then dull it, make it a little bit lighter by putting on a lip gloss. So again, it's a different Tarte H2O lip gloss. So I put that on over the top of it just to kind of dull it down a little bit. And that's my whole makeup routine. I can get it done usually in like under 10 minutes, pretty fast. So there's really not a big excuse for not wearing it. It's just with it being so hot in Texas and it's starting to get a lot hotter, the makeup just kind of melts off. So I like to not even put it on and give my skin a break of um, having anything on it just to keep my skin nice and clean and moisturized and but who knows now that I watched some great videos on some makeup um, options from Paula Gross and unboxing all her subscription boxes I am thinking maybe I should start wearing it more the last thing that happened this week that I wanted to tell you about is um, I did just a little bit of shopping. Everyone knows I like to do my shopping. So my purchase this week that was just for me and for really fun was these Crocs. So you can see they're quite orange and they match six days a week. I have an orange shirt on. So I decided, hey, orange Crocs would be great. I had been getting the Crocs that didn't have the sling back, but these are just the traditional Crocs and they came in orange. So I thought, I'll try them out. I'll try the sling back ones out. Got them on Amazon. They weren't very expensive and they're orange. So they match all my VIP kids stuff, which is great. So that was my other um, shopping. Frankie, come here. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video on skincare and applying makeup. My next video that I'm gonna be putting out is just another update on our farm and our puppy. So you'll get to see the puppy playing, you'll get to see Rosie, the new calf again, and show you a little bit of my garden. Some of it's not doing very well, but I'm learning from my mistakes. <laughs> Um, I will show you that in the next video, so stay tuned. If any of you decide that you are ready to start working for VIP Kid and you'd like more information, just put a comment below and I'll also put my email below and you can contact me and I'd love to help you out. If you have any other questions about skincare or makeup and you'd like me to ask them of my daughter for you, um, I'll be happy to do that and get back to you on that as well too. Take care. I hope you have a great Sunday and rest up and get ready for a new week next week. Thanks. Bye.